What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique for those of you guys who are new here and for those of you guys who are not new here. Hey, hi, hello, what's up? Welcome back. So we have another meat vlog because we are going to Texas. Texas. I know. I know, but it's okay. So we're going to Texas right now. I have to stop at Best Buy before I meet my teammates. So I'm about to head over there right now because I need to get some headphones. And if I can't find the headphones that I want, I'm just going to use my other headphones, which is completely okay. I just got Duncan because, you know, Dom runs on Duncan and it wouldn't be a trip if I didn't get it. So I'm just going to bring you guys along with me like last time and like the time before. We're going to have a lot of fun. And this me, I'm going in with the attitude of a cop, execute, and business trip because last time I was kind of like, woo, all fun and games. And I know that I need to buckle down and execute some big jumps. So we're going to be doing the things this weekend. All right, let's go to Best Buy. <laughs> Guys, we are now on the plane. There's Kelly. Hey. Coach is all the way over there with this mask on. You can't really see, but he over there. And we're heading to Orlando first, and then to Texas. We in both places. I know. Let me stop. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible, but I did get a coffee from Starbucks, and I know I already got Dunkin', but it's okay. I also want to show you guys before the flight takes off my new headphones that I just bought literally right before I came onto the plane. I got these. They're the Sony's WXYZ 20,400. I'm kidding. I don't really know what it's called, but it has a really, really long name and they're really cool. So I'm excited about it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Time to eat. We went to this like uh, nature's table, I think. We're in Orlando right now. This is like a really weird angle, but here we are. Hi, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the food I got. You can't even see it. Actually, I wonder what this orange stuff is that they put on top of it. All right, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks a little gross, but I feel like it's gonna taste really good. All right, either way, we have an hour or so before our next flight. Maybe an hour, maybe less than that. And we're gonna eat and just hang out and chill. So yeah. So cute with the mask, like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, my dudes, we are here. We are at the hotel. Here we are. We just did our COVID check-in. We got these like cool little wristbands, which is like not focusing right now, but you guys <laughs> got the point. Just like last time, I'm gonna do a little room tour. I'll leave the bathroom for last because obviously the bathroom is the best part. So when you walk in, come over here. There's Kelly. <laughs> hey, Kelly. <laughs> When you're right here, this is the microwave and then a nice little coffee setup that we won't use because that's not our lifestyle. That is our mini fridge. Then you walk in and here's a mirror. Hi. And then we have a fir our first TV. First TV. That's the first one. All our junk. Then our bed. Our bed. There's Kelly again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> our second TV because we're so cool a desk that we won't use, a table that we won't use, and that's my mask. It's kind of gross, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> and a couch, so that's that, with our little AC unit. All right, now the best part, guys. The bathroom. Why is the bathroom the best part, you might ask? Because look at this beautiful mirror, and me again, hey. Beautiful mirror, beautiful lights, the wall, and this awesome huge shower. We dig it, we dig it. So that's about it. All right, so that is a little room tour. I hope you really enjoyed it. We are about to eat, but we are eating these little nut ration. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Nutrition, nutrition um, snacks, and we're about to go eat, and yeah. 
Bye. All right, so we just ate breakfast and I had basically like oatmeal. It looks like this. I had two cups of that oatmeal and then I had a little bit of coffee, but it wasn't that good because the coffee tastes like absolute water. So we're about to go to the grocery store and then go get more coffee. All right, also another update. We are actually leaving tomorrow instead of tonight because of how the meet got pushed back and scheduled. So it's kind of going to be nice because we get to like come back from the meet and chill and not have to rush to an airport. I guess like I didn't tell you guys what happened last night because I didn't vlog it, but it's because there was a lot of stuff going on. But basically we came in here and we got like our COVID testing, which everyone got a bracelet once they got their rapid test back and then signed up and got like our bibs and everything and just a whole rundown on like how the meet is gonna work and then today at 3 45 we're about to we're gonna compete and that's that was really about it so we went to chili's last night chili's was good i got the fajitas and i still have some extra that i might eat for lunch maybe not depending on how i'm feeling so that is it i just want to give you a little update because i did not give you guys an update yesterday and i felt really really bad about it so i'm sorry but i will talk to you guys soon after we go to the grocery store all right, guys, we are at Heb. Woo! Heb, we are here. Is it Heb or is it H-E-B? We'll never know. Is it I... Heb or is it H-E-B? We're not done here. Not done here. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. It. It's both. We're about to go get snacks, so definitely gives me I'm Walmart. i the red boxes outside, and now it's really... Wait, and people haven't got no mask on. Yeah. No mask Alright, family pass? Oh, he wants all the juice. Give her all the juice. <laughs> 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 so we are back in the hotel. We have approximately an hour-ish to get ready. We're gonna head over to the track to compete. We have to check out a little bit earlier. So I already put on my uniform. If you guys have already seen, I was interesting, guys. Or H-E-B. It reminded me of like a Walmart, but not a Walmart. It was really big though. It was huge. All right, so I'm gonna go get ready and get dressed and, and then I'll see you guys there. All right, quick backstory. So because we didn't have a flight for that same day and we had to cancel and reschedule, we stayed in a hotel that was right next to the airport. And this hotel was a little bit sketch, I'm not gonna lie. And I honestly thought there might've been a dead body. So this next scene that you're about to see is actually what happened. One second, okay. This is our bathroom, which looks slightly sketchy, guys. <laughs> I don't know why opening, oh. <laughs> camera to open it up i thought someone was like dead in here but it's oh it's shit. thanks girl i thought this was the bathroom we it, <laughs> this is the <laughs> all right obviously i'm delirious and going crazy because i really thought that someone was like dead in this hotel room but no we're fine okay cool <laughs> the airport and I'm tired. I'm so freaking tired. So we have to wash our face and get ready so we can go 
at home. Hey guys! Um, it's still like not really focused, but it's okay. We are in Denver, Colorado right now, and we are heading to um, a restaurant to see if we can find something to eat before our next flight. Um, but we got coffee. Nitro Cold Brew is the best, and don't try to fight us on that. So yeah, I'll show you guys what we're eating, but it was a good first flight. United has a lot more space than Spirit. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it does. Good. And they give you it snacks. I didn't get on it, but the option to watch shows on that app. Yes! I wanted to download it, so we probably should. Yeah. Oh, I need to. But yeah. So we're gonna go get some food, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! So we thought we were boarding at 10, but we're actually boarding at 9.45, which is like kind of crazy because we just ordered our food and we waited in the Starbucks line for like literally 30 minutes. So we don't have as much time as we thought, but it's okay because we're gonna come out of this victorious. And also, the lady up there was so nice. She gave me an employee discount of 10% off. Okay. <laughs> is that crazy? So yeah. All right, well, um, let's just luck. Thanks. back home thank the lord it's been a really long day we literally went from prairie view texas which is like near houston to denver colorado all the way back to dc it felt like i lost time in my day because technically i, I did in texas was an hour back and then colorado was an hour back from that hour back and then we came here and we lost two hours and i was like this time zone changes way too much for me and I'm tired. And last night I did not get any sleep. Guys, I only slept like four freaking hours. And it was because this person next door to us was, I don't know, they were like having a party. They were like doing a work, I don't know. They were banging on the walls and I honestly could not do it. So I just like stayed up because I watched way too much Criminal Minds for me to be like sound asleep during that. So I'm back home. Um, I just picked up a couple packages. I got some stuff from Jolin clothing that I'm really excited about and I'm going to be doing a campaign with them next week. So I'm super stoked because that's going to be really fun. Um, I wanted to talk about the meet because it's a meet vlog. I think that it was a success because of the fact that I went out there and mentally I went out there and was like, okay, I'm going to control the things that I can control. And the only things that I can control are is my effort, how much effort I give, my attitude and focusing on executing what I can and giving it my all every time that I tried to execute it and staying in that present moment. And that was like something that I really, really tried to focus on. And I read it in a book, Think Like a Warrior, which is like the five inner beliefs that will help you succeed. And I think it's really good to read mental toughness books and um, those like kind of like self-help books, especially when you're trying to go after big goals. I think it gives you perspective and like lets you think about yourself in a different way and like how you're actually like approaching different parts of your goal. I think that really helped me with this meet because of the fact that I was not worried about the fact that like it dropped like 15 degrees and it was rainy and really windy. Like we were running into a headwind. It was obviously there, but I didn't let it consume me to the extent that like I couldn't perform. And while the number isn't what I want it was still a personal best so I now have a solid mark that I can like use at meets now and I won money so now I'm officially a pro athlete which is insane honestly guys it's so insane I'm really excited about it and I'm excited to see how much training I can get in basically like, I want to put my head down and like go after it for the next two weeks it's gonna be good it's gonna be exciting and I'm happy that I get to bring you guys along I just hope that like me sharing these things with you and showing you guys like the world of professional athletics and navigating this like postgraduate life like inspires you to go after your goals because obviously I want to create a community and I want you guys to be a part of this community where we're like motivated we are going after the things that we want because we're trying to live the lives that we want to live um, and that might sound insane, but like goals are supposed to be insane. They're supposed to be big. They're supposed to be crazy. They're supposed to be exciting. Like they're supposed to make your heart like pump like a thousand times and I'm getting so like giddy over it. There's just so much that we can do in our lives. And I just hope that whatever I put out there and whatever you guys see, it makes you excited and ready for anything. Um, I can officially call myself a professional athlete. I got a little personal best and I placed third at my first pro meet, which was freaking awesome. And I'm excited to see 
how far I can go. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, be a part of this journey. Be a part of this motivated, goal-oriented community and group and family because I would be happy to have you. Then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week with another video. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a great week. So bye guys.